Would you trust your finances in the hands of a robo-advisor? Wealthy investors have been flocking to automated services in recent years, and even some major lenders are planning to integrate this technology. Robo-advisors come at a much cheaper rate, often charging half of what a traditional broker would, and could be managing as much as $2.2 trillion in four years. According to Bloomberg Business, brokerages including Morgan Stanley, Bank of America Corp., and Wells Fargo & Co. all have AI in the works to meet employee and customer needs. This is in efforts to keep up with the growing popularity of robo-advisors, who are moving money for millennials and small investors along with financial giants like Wealthfront Inc. and Betterment LLC. AI advisors generate investment advice using computer programs, and run at a much cheaper rate than traditional, human, brokers, who can charge at least 1% of the assets being managed. An eight-group study reveals that assets in automated portfolios spiked 210% in 2015. This, however, reflects $50 billion of investments within the $20 trillion wealth management market. Still, these numbers are only growing, Bloomberg suggests. As robo-advisors gain acceptance, consulting firm A.T. Carney estimates that they will manage up to $2.2 trillion by 2020. It's real money moving, Kendra Thompson, M. Accenture PLC Managing Director, told Bloomberg. You're seeing experimentation from people with much larger portfolios, where they're taking a portion of their money and putting them in these offerings to try them out. Roughly 15% of Robo clients at Charles Schwab Corp. have at least $1 million in the company, Bloomberg writes, and the trend is increasing across the board. Schwab was one of the first major firms to adopt these practices, and in the first nine months of AI services, it reeled in $5.3 billion to its offering, a spokesman told Bloomberg. Some firms, including Morgan Stanley and Wells Fargo are saying that robo-advisors could act as complementary services alongside human employees. Robo is a positive disruptor, Jay Welker, president of Wells Fargo's private bank, told Bloomberg. We think of Robo in terms of serving multi-generational families. This would allow the firms to meet the needs of a cross-generational customer base, who may want the efficiency of advanced technology, but still hold on to the urge to speak to a human.